All right, Joel Wind here. Uh, I'm going to do some more on, uh, on becoming a real wizard. When I finish the last bit on um, wisdom and health, or health and wisdom, or whatever it was. and was reviewing it as I uploaded it to YouTube I realized that I uh, not finished explaining various things that had come up I mean it is a complicated matter that's for sure and so I'm calling this uh, footnotes to kind of fill in the spaces of the videos 21 through 27 on health and wisdom part 1 through 7 these will be health and wisdom footnotes, part one and perhaps part two, depending on how much time I take trying to recover things. Um, one of the things I mentioned earlier was certain movies that uh, constituted reflections on certain issues in relationship between what might be called the mental health community and people's actual existence, a kind of problem of power. Because one of the things that is happening, the governments are using um, health ideas to uh, cause trouble. Uh, for example, there was a thing that I was going to mention called the New Freedom Act. I had to look it up, I couldn't remember the name of it which basically was an effort by the government, uh, the Bush administration, to give the government the right to test all young people above a certain lower age and through their teenage years to see if they needed um, psychiatric help in the form of medicines. And it was assumed that the whole point of this was an effort by the pharmaceutical industry to get the government to create customers for them by looking at problems in schools and then testing people and this would be done without the consent of the parents and other kinds of things and I don't know the actual status of this law but the very fact that it was offered to be law ought to scare people there's a lot of power in the psychiatric business there's a book you can read a sociological book uh, called um, from Badness to Sickness, The Medicalization of Deviant Behavior. It catalogs the development over 50 years of certain kinds of behaviors that used to be called criminal and then became called mental illnesses and a change in where the establishment powers were in terms of dealing with deviant behaviors. More and more behaviors that were one time criminal now became mental illnesses. And there's certain problems about that. Um, I have an essay on my website, Shapes in the Fire. Let me get the name of it that people might want to read. Healing the Insanity of Psychiatric Medicines and Practice. An overview look at certain underlying problems in the fundamental institution thinking in that aspect of our social life related to so-called mental illnesses. Now one might think I don't know anything about that stuff, but the fact is, folks, I've got 18 years in the trenches of the mental health system, and all that's explained in. I wasn't a psychologist, wasn't a psychiatrist, I was just the direct hands-on guy, you know. Ten years in the graveyard shift in a mental hospital, a for-profit mental hospital. You know, I was the guy that patients hit when they wanted to wrestle with somebody. I was the guy that stayed up for hours, you know, trying to comfort a teenage male on his first schizophrenic break when he starts hearing voices and he's aware that his mind is disappearing. It's a tragic thing to experience. So I know a lot about it. I'm not just talking out about behind here when I talk about these things. Now there's a couple of movies that people should watch. And while they're not 
as real as in a certain way as it might be. They both exhibit uh, stories about uh, what can happen when the people that run these institutions in the mental health business get a little bit self-involved with their power. And let's keep in mind, folks, that there's a lot of power involved in that. So not only do you have my essay you can read, but you can take a short thing, and everybody knows One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. If you haven't seen it, you probably should see it again. Another one of mine that's really favorite, favorite is called Nuts. Barbara Streisand plays a, a young woman who is uh, gets in trouble with the law, and the psychiatric establishment is being used to pound on her, and Richard Dreyfuss plays her lawyer. And he tries to save her as a free individual from these institutional powers. And it's a very good story. All right? So there is this tendency for governments to use health issues to dominate the populace. And this has been done with regard to certain kinds of things which everybody sort of goes along with. That's how it starts up, you know. Let's get rid of all the smoking in public places because we have this belief that secondhand smoke actually causes the same kind of harm that direct smoking does to people. And of course, there's a lot of really interesting science that's not not paid attention to there. And then of course there's, you know, we should not be ignorant of the fact that in communist Russia, deviant political opinion was described as insane and psychiatrists were used to um, put deviant political people into psychiatric institutions. And if you don't think this could happen in America, then just look up what goes on with the psychologists who were used to justify various kinds of tortures and the use of psychologists and psychiatrists to deny claims of our soldiers for their mental health and physical issues. Just because someone's in a healing profession doesn't mean they're an altruist. And they can be bought and paid for or forced or whatever <clears throat> by the powers of government to do things that are very nasty and unkind. And we just need not to sleep about this stuff. You know, health and wisdom has to include those kinds of things. All right? Now, another little thing I want to bring up just in passing was because I couldn't remember the guy's name. Carl Sagan was the author of... Uh, the book, The Demon Haunted World, in which he expressed concern with the New Age movement that we were going to lose the light of science. And I'm definitely for us not losing this light of science. What I said in the previous video was, hey, let's not only not lose the light of reason, let's do a better job at it. That's what these videos are about, doing a better job of reason. Now I'm going to pause and go on to the next one here.